Hey guys, this is Luke from GainBits, and I'm going to quickly show you uh, how to get set up and running Git and GitHub in, uh, let's say, three to five minutes. So to set the premise, I just signed up for a GitHub account. Um, imagine I'm trying to create a project, um, and so I'm going to create this repository here. So this is just the first step is um, creating the name. Uh, let's give it a quick description. A brief description and this is going to be public and yeah that's fine let's initialize with a readme so I just created a repository okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, install github for Mac and so this is essentially a super easy way of getting started um, there's some command line steps that you can go through um, but if you're a marketer and you're just looking to get up and running as quickly as possible, I think this is the way to go. Now, granted, over time, you may want to use the all the functionality that Git can provide. But to start, you need as much kind of uh, help as possible just getting started. And so that's why I am, uh, as soon as it finds my stuff just a second so I'm just going to say yep and by the way this is a fresh computer and so I'm going to okay so I just signed up so here's the key when doing this let me just get through this really fast um, you want to install the command line tools. This is probably the easiest way to get the uh, Git. <laughs> this is the easiest way to get Git set up on your local machine. Um, you can go through other steps to do this, um, but this is easily the quickest way to get started. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the repository that I created. Think of this a little bit like downloading uh, a set of folder. So I'm going to go into clone. I'm going to take that getting started um, or getting start apparently, and I'm going to add it onto the desktop. You'll see I open this and it just has the readme which uh, was created here. You can see that right there. So what we can do now is we can go in here and let's open that with uh, default text editor. I have Sublime. So all I'm going to say is, hello world, this is exciting. I'm going to save it. I'm then going to jump back over into my GitHub on it. And you'll see here, which is kind of cool, is that I deleted this line here. I then added this line and Git picks it up and says, oh, this is great. So now what I want to do is I made the change. What I need to do now is commit it. Essentially, a commit is, think of it almost like taking a photo. It remembers the, the, the files and the structure in which um, the, the file sat inside of the repository. And every time you make changes, and you know, let's say you want to go back to them at some point, you need to collaborate with someone, um, there's Git has a variety of awesome ways to collaborate with other people, but it's all based off this premise of a commit. And so essentially what I'm saying with this commit is, hey, I want to make, I want to kind of stamp this moment into time so that I can reference it later. And so I'm going to say this is the first commit. This is a description. And, and typically, uh, you would want to add something. So um, first time committing in the folder. This is great. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit it to master. I then made the commit here. But what I need to do is it, it still hasn't uploaded onto GitHub. And what I need to do is I need to sync it. So I click the sync button, and now you can say it says zero unsynced. I then jump over here, and 
it picked up the change that I made, which is right here, and it now shows the commit here, which is pretty great. So this is how, uh, in a nutshell, how you can get up and running with Git and GitHub in you know five minutes. Um, clearly, there is more to learn, and uh, I actually uh, created a course on it um, to teach non-technical people how to get started. Um, I have a way to learn that's based mostly based on the GUI, which is this app right here. But then I also have a way that you can learn based on um, the uh, the command line too. So uh, feel free to join me if you if you like this video. So thanks.